Hi, I am your host, Swapnil Bharatiya, and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Ankur Desai, Director of Product at Robin.io. Ankur, it's uh, great to have you on the show. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Ankur, before I ask you to pick your uh, crystal ball and tell about your predictions, can you tell me a bit about the company itself? What is Robin.io all about? So Robin.io uh, simplifies and automates the management of stateful applications and 5G networks on Kubernetes. And to that end, we have two products. Um, Robin Cloud Native Storage helps developers simplify the management of stateful workloads on Kubernetes. And Robin Cloud Native Platform uh, helps network operators um, modernize their 5G networks using Kubernetes. Now it's time for you to pick up your crystal ball and tell me what predictions do you have for 2021? I have three Kubernetes related predictions for 2021. Uh, the first one is Kubernetes will drive the hybrid cloud strategy going forward, right? Um, in the recent state of the cloud survey, we saw that more than 87% of uh, the respondents said they have a hybrid cloud strategy going forward. They are going to use multiple clouds. And uh, to that end, we have seen, you know, recently we have seen um, many products uh, and solutions uh, such as, um, you know, Amazon Outpost and Azure Stack Hub, right, uh, uh, trying to solve this problem. Uh, but my prediction is going forward, Kubernetes will become the centerpiece of this um, uh, hybrid cloud strategy, right? Uh, because it is the common platform across all the clouds. Um, and in, if you look at even recent trends, right, um, EKS actually came up with their on-prem Kubernetes distribution, EKSD. Um, Google is pushing hard on Anthos and Anthos for bare metal, right? So I believe that Kubernetes is going to be the platform on which hybrid cloud will be built uh, starting 2021. The second prediction I have is we will see a massive jump in uh, stateful applications on Kubernetes. And in the recent um, CNCF survey, uh, we saw that about 55% respondents said they are running stateful applications on Kubernetes. I expect that number to jump to more than 80% in 2021, um, simply because the maturity of Kubernetes deployments uh, and as well as the maturity of uh, um, the storage and data management solutions on Kubernetes is going to a is coming to a stage where you know it's I think it, the time is right to start running stateful applications in production on Kubernetes. Uh, and my third prediction is Kubernetes will drive the network transformation for 5G, right? Um, given the requirements for latency, uptime, and um, you know uh, the number of connected devices, uh, it is becoming very clear to the network operators and telco service providers that now they have to move from virtual machines to containers, or in telco terms, from VNFs to CNFs. And when that happens, right, when the containers are the, the standard for running network applications, uh, there is only one platform um, that will actually uh, take over, right, that is Kubernetes. Um, in fact, Robin is powering the world's first fully cloud-native Kubernetes-based 5G network in Japan, right, and we expect uh, more telco operators to follow suit soon. So those are my three predictions for 2021. Ankur, uh, first of all, thank you for sharing those predictions. Now, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus of Robin.io in 2021? So in 2021, we are focusing on three things. Um, first is, uh, you know, simplifying uh, the hybrid and multi-cloud portability for complex stateful applications on Kubernetes, right? And we talked about how, how hybrid cloud is going to be uh, important going forward and Kubernetes is going to be the platform that will run the hybrid cloud. Um, so to that end, there will be a requirement where you would have to move stateful applications from one cloud or one uh, cluster to another cluster um, on Kubernetes. And at this point, it is not very straightforward, right? So Robin is working on a solution that makes it really simple and elegant to actually pick a stateful workload and move to a different cloud on Kubernetes. So that's one. That's the first area of focus. Uh, the second is we want to empower developers to easily manage uh, stateful workloads on Kubernetes uh, without having to become storage experts, right? So in the um, in the legacy world, you would you know a developer would create IT tickets and ask for help from storage admins for certain storage related tasks, right? And we want to actually eliminate that delay, eliminate that friction 
uh, and make sure that we automate most of the operations uh, that typically a storage admin would do uh, on Kubernetes, right? So that will actually enable developers and DevOps engineers uh, to take care of their stateful applications um, independently. Uh, and the third area of focus is optimizing Kubernetes for 5G networks, right? That what that means is, you know, there is there are certain optimizations needed um, to upstream Kubernetes uh, to deliver ultra low latency, to deliver subsequent failover, right, uh, and near 100% of time. So Robin is now focusing on, um, you know, making those optimizations available in Kubernetes and making sure that 5G networks going forward can. Uh, leverage Kubernetes as the de facto standard platform for running applications. Awesome. Uh, Uncle, thanks for sharing these predictions, uh, the focus of the company, and also telling us what uh, Robin.io is uh, doing these days. Uh, I would love to have you back on the show in December of 2021 just to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true and also to get your next round of predictions for the next year. So, Uncle, once again, thank you, and I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure.